Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have x minus 1 and its whole power 6 equals to 5 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this 5 to the power of x in the left hand side and it will be written as x minus 1 to the power of 6 minus 5 to the power of 6 equals to 0. And after that uh, we again rearrange the equation and here we write this x minus 1 to the power of 6 as x minus 1 cubed and its whole square minus similarly we write this expression as 5 cubed and its whole square equals to 0. And after that we use here the nice square identity uh, it is a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here we use this nice identity to the above equation so that our above equation is written as x minus 1 cubed minus 5 cubed into x minus 1 cubed plus 5 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step here we convert this equation into the two cases so that our first case is we take x minus 1 cubed minus 5 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we take x minus 1 cubed plus 5 cubed equals to 0. So here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So now in the next step we just solve these two equations and we easily get the values of x. So here we focus on equation number 1. So in first equation uh, here we use the nice cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a minus b whole cube is equals to uh, uh, here we use this is uh, this is cubic term and also this is cubic term so uh, here we use this formula a cubed minus b cubed so it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and after that uh, we just apply this nice cubic formula to the equation number one so in equation number 1 we have the value of a is x minus 1 and the value of b is 5. So we substitute these two values in this e e formula and it will be written as first we have a minus b so uh, our a is x minus 1 minus our b is 5 and a square so our a is x minus 1 square plus a b. So a is x minus 1 and b is 5 plus b square so b is 5 square and this whole equation equals to 0. So in the next step uh, here we need some simplifications and we have this is x minus 6 this is minus 1 minus 5 become x minus 6 and here we uh, expand this square identity and it is equals to x square plus 1 square minus 2x. And we multiply this 5 on both of these terms and it will be written as 5x minus 5 plus 25 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we add or subtract the like terms and uh, first we have x minus 6 and uh, we have the only one term is x square and this is minus 2x plus 5x equals to plus uh, 3x and this is 1 square equals to 1 and 1 minus 5 and plus 25 it is equals to plus 19 and it is equals to 0. Uh, so when you subtract minus 5 plus 25 it is equals to 20 and 20 plus 1 becomes 21 so this is over 21. So uh, now uh, we again convert this into two cases so that our first case is we take x minus 6 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x square plus 3x plus 21 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of x equals to 6 and now uh, here we uh, solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to 3 and c equals to 21. So our 
quadratic formula is written as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. And now we substitute the values of a, b and c here and it will be written as x equals to minus b, the value of b is 3, so it is minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 21 and it is divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1. So here we uh, need some simplification and it will be written as minus 3 plus minus square root of 3 square is 9 minus 4 times of 21 is equals to 84 and it is divided by 2. So here uh, when you subtract 9 minus 84 it is equals to minus 3 plus minus uh, minus 75 is divided by 2. Okay. So here uh, we rewrite uh, this uh, expression as minus 3 plus minus we write the 75 as 25 times of 3 and its whole square root and we just separate the square root of minus 1 and it is divided by 2. So now in the next step we have minus 3 plus minus the square root of 25 is 5 into square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 is iota and this is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation uh, which we get from case number 1 and now we move towards our case number 2. So from case number 2 here we just copy down the equation number 2 and our equation number 2 is x minus 1 cubed plus 5 cubed equals to 0. So here we use the other nice uh, cubic formula. So according to this formula it is written as a plus b into a square minus a b and plus b square and this is whole equals to 0. So in the next step uh, here we have minus 1 plus 5 becomes plus 4 and we expand this formula and it will be written as x square plus 1 square minus 2x and we multiply this 5 on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 5x and plus 5 and 5 squared equals to 25 and this whole equals to 0. So in the next step uh, we have uh, x plus 4 into x squared and we have minus 2x minus 5x equals to minus 7x and 25 plus 5 equals to 30 and 30 plus 1 equals to 31 and this whole equals to 0. So now we convert this into two cases. So our first case is we take x plus 4 equals to 0 and the second case is we take x squared minus 7x plus 31 equals to 0. So from first case we get the value of x is equals to minus 4 and now uh, we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 7 and c equals to 31. And we know about the quadratic formula, it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So now in the next step we substitute the values of a, b and c in this quadratic formula and the value of b is minus 7 so it will become here plus 7 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 7 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 31 and it is divided by 2 times of a so uh, our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step here we need some simplification and it will be written as x equals to 7 plus minus 7 square becomes 49 and 4 times of 31 is equals to 124 square root and it is divided by 2. So that when you subtract 49 minus 124 it is also equals to minus 75 and it will be written as 7 plus minus square root of minus 75 divided by 2. And here again we rewrite this equation as 7 plus minus 25 times of 3 and square root of minus 1 divided by 2. So here in this case we also get the uh, other complex roots are 
7 plus minus 5 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.